horoscope for Aries for the week of, I don't know, for the week of, for the week of May 22nd, 2023. And Mars moves into Leo, which I talk about on the monthly horoscopes. If you want to see how that transit is going to affect you for, I think, like the next three months. And also the sun enters Gemini for the next month on the 20th, Mars in Leo at 1131 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the 21st at 309 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun in Gemini. So still going through a lot of energy shifts. Mars is still not well aspected at this time. Okay, so be sure to like, subscribe, and share to this channel and support your girl. Alrighty, because she does not steer you around. No, no. Mars moves into the fifth house. It's not well aspected. Um, you can be keeping your thoughts to yourself. You may not be getting along with your partner or you may not be on speaking terms with your friends. Not the easiest time for getting along with your children. Leo in the fifth house is not well aspected at this time and it's conjunct with Vulcan, which is the higher form of Saturn. So it's definitely not the easiest time for you. You could be dealing with certain people that aren't loyal to you or you feel like you've done a lot for other people and they're not reciprocating at this time this could also be dealing with like the social media and people not liking subscribing and sharing so we could watch like we could hear like a lot of like aries doing death threats or explaining themselves that kind of thing going on at this time with the social media pages so the drama could be real with their fan base and what have you okay um i would be careful with having your ideas and talking about your ideas at this time out loud because you can find that other people are going to be taking your ideas and going off very quickly and making it their own and you could feel some kind of damn way and i don't blame you um not the best time for gambling or be careful where you invest your money in because you may have some great losses happening this week as well pick and choose your battles with your partner because you could have a stormy love life at this time Mars is not well aspected, so changes in your relationships can happen. This could be whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. This could be endings of a long-term relationship. So again, pick and choose your battles with this energy. Everything is cause and effect with this energy as well. Tuesday, um, a great time. This is a favorable time for learning and education. The sun is in Gemini. Everyday events seem to show you a deeper meaning to life. Relationships with relatives may be strained. They may even be demanding um, too much of your time and energy or even money or making it difficult for you to be yourself around them. For some of you, you can feel restless with this energy. You can be complacent in certain areas of your life, like something has to give in certain relationships. Um, with this energy because it's kind of boring for you so you could be using that Mars energy and just kind of like shaking things up to make things interesting because when you guys are bored you kind of like you know you're kind of like play devil's advocate but you know when you guys are bored it's like when you guys are fighting it's like you don't know when to stop okay so it's gonna be like that kind of situation going on alrighty so you may have to do something fun you may have to go out or change your routine around um, your live-in relationships at this time, you may find yourself in a leadership role in your community that you wish um, you didn't have. Neighbors and relatives may oppose upon you. Communications with neighbors and relatives become much more important and serious. Um, your communications and mental focus is sharp. For, there is a fire trine happening with the first, fifth, and ninth house because the earth moves into Sagittarius. So this is a great time to mingle if you're single with this energy. Um, you can be socializing. This can be a popular energy time for those of you in media and social media. A great time for job interviews. Um, they won't forget you or you could be leaving a lasting impression on others. Then on Wednesday, you may not be getting along with the women in your life. You may be um, very reactive at this time. So again, watch your emotional self. You tend to overreact with any circumstances or towards anything at this time. You can easily get hurt even though you want to hide your vulnerability. You can be doing um, on-the-job training or up for an, a promotion. Relationships with men and authority figures or dominating women can imp should improve at this time. Um, if you are in search for yourself, you will find that your perspective is broadening. There is often an increase of openness uh, to lifestyle, cultural change, like cultural lifestyles, religion, and you d that you don't normally encounter. This is a very successful time for investments and financial dealings. You can be coming up with money-making ideas. Love relationships can be super fragile. 
You can't be upset about something either with money or certain things not going your way and taking it, and taking it out on other people. Careful with this energy because this could be like some Aries this week. You're going to be, you know, this is like strong Mars um, in Leo. It, well, it's a very masculine energy, and then you're a masculine sign as well because Cancer is feminine, masculine, so it goes see it goes um, Aries, male, Taurus, female. Even though Taurus takes on a very masculine energy as well, but here we have a lot of like masculine energy here. So you're very you're very tenacious, but also you're very bored at this time with this energy because the sun in Gemini is not well aspected in your third house of emotions, you know, your reactive self. So at this time here, you're taking it out on your partner. If you are going through it emotionally or want to end the relationship, you could find yourself, you know, and you're not being honest with your own self at this time because of pride or you don't want to hurt people's feelings at this time because you got other plans. Let's say you're a Pisces, you know, and you don't want to hurt people's feelings but at the same time you're using this person as an emotional punching bag i mean what's worse rip the band-aid off mercury is direct so it could be a situation like that where you're denying yourself of things restricting yourself of things but then you're pissed off at the world because you restricted yourself you made choices okay so be careful with your choices this week you have a water trine happening with the 12th fourth and eighth house this could be dealing with your fears emotional hang-ups with this energy which can be which can bring about healing energy, reconciliations that bring about healing. For others of you, you're fearless. A great time for tackling certain situations or subjects. This could be whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. Change is happening. This is a favorable time for expressing yourself and romantic encounters. Fun time for parties and social occasions. So you could be out more than usual. Investments tend to fare well on Thursday. Um, be careful how you express yourself and how you invest financially at the same time. I feel like, you know, your children, if they're little, they could be in a cussing mood. Um, you can be quarreling with lovers. I feel at this time for some of you here that family members could be trying to obligate you to a certain situation or trying to family guilt you into doing things that you don't want to do at this time. Or this could be just being making yourself feel guilty because you don't want to do certain things at this time. And you could be trying to get out of it or you could be saying that naughty word no and then feeling guilty about it as well. If you don't want to do it, just say no because there's no blessing in giving into something that you really don't want to give. And then you're going to find everybody's mad at you or you're mad at them. So there's really no blessing in it. So make sure you're doing things that you want to do that make you happy, okay? Or that's going to bring happiness to others then on friday you may have an urge to get more organized in your daily routine and prefer to a more efficient schedule you will not want to travel much so you may relocate so the to um you may relocate like those of you in college you could be looking and you don't have a car you could be looking for like apartments that are close to everything and your college you know and to like a bank or coffee shops or restaurants that you can go to that kind of thing okay um for others of you romance tends to be fulfilling but watch for a tendency to smother and mate um allow enough breathing space for him or her to be an individual avoid financial investments as your assessments of the value of something is likely to be off Co-workers may tend to pass the buck on to you thinking that you won't complain to management. Avoid a tendency to carry another person's weight for the sake of peace or the desire to get along or thinking in your head that they're going to do something for you because they're not. You can come across someone who is needy or feeling entitled. This is a favorable time for um, children or having children, romance and socializing. Be careful about excessive expenditures at this time. Your romantic or personal relationships can be stormy this week, all this week. So be careful. Relationships with coworkers may expand beyond the workplace and become too personal or be a source of irritation. You may feel that superiors don't have reasonable expectations as well with this energy. You may want to watch for your stomach and your gallbladder this week as well because you can have problems with it. Alrighty. Um, so the first card I come up with is the Queen of Coins. Now I have something in regards to sharing. Okay, so those of you 
who this could be dealing for some of you with property matters or something like that or this could be dealing with children and child custody battles coming up with this energy as well and having to share your time or you could be going to your kids graduation at this time and maybe everybody got different plans going on so you could be dealing with that this week with this energy the empress card a lot of female energy here so you can be dealing with the women in your life for some of you this could be mother and mother could be very supportive of you or mother could be going out of her way for you or this could be thoughts of mother coming up but for some of you you could be moving in with grandma or you could be moving in with a sister at this time or with mother with this energy for some of you the three of coins i see you happy on a financial level and an emotional level the high priestess card trust your intuition this week you could be at the right place at the right time also you could be like a little bit of a social butterfly this week with that energy as well the knight of cups blessings on to the universe <coughs> excuse me blessings on to the universe this week for you as well oh i'm coughing okay i'm having a coughing fit so this could also be dating alrighty so trust your intuition the six of coins i see blessings onto the universe coming to you this week as well with this energy so that's a beautiful week for that for some of you you could be very generous or going above and beyond for other people in your life with this energy as well and you could be at the right place at the right time this week to help out somebody and then after that you're going to see sparks and miracles happening for yourself for others of you this could be um, positive karma coming in and you reaping what you're sowing okay the judgment card this is life transformation happening this could also be pregnancy coming up with this energy as well something heavy on your mind for some of you, you could be reluctant to give at this time with this energy here or reluctant to give help to certain people in your life because they may not have helped you in the past and now you're kind of like why should i help you now okay i feel like it's going to be a, a situation of a little bit of tug and war when it comes to um, getting you to do things for other people at this time because you're just kind of like in a way I see you kind of like sticking your nose up to helping people at this time because it always backfires in your face or because they always give you a lot of responsibilities to carry and do and then they get mad at you later on okay so it could be a situation like that so you're seeing yourself repeating certain cycles with certain people in your life and you're not ready to go there with them and you're not ready to repeat it i feel like they're going to go back and forth with you in regards to helping them for a little bit here so this could be you finally giving in after them nagging you into doing something that you don't want to do the star card manifesting what you want at this time hope reigns supreme this week with this energy as well so this could be a wish coming true um, for some of you, again, you could be at the right place at the right time with this energy. You could find this week because the Earth moves into your ninth house in the sign of Jupiter, uh, sign of well, yeah, Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius, that you could find that thoughts really do become things with this energy, or you could be very intuitive this week in regards to the blessings that you're going to be receiving. So trust your intuition with this energy. For others of you, this is a great time for those of you in media and social media. For others of you, you're working on yourself, you're dieting, you're making lifestyle changes um, this week with this energy. I see a new love interest coming up for you as well. I see you feeling more in tune with the divine and more of a connection with the spirit during this time period as well. This could be um, also you wanting to do something for the greater good like philanthropy with this energy here as well. The Eight of Coins, you're a perfectionist when it comes to career. You could be throwing yourself into something new or starting a new creative project this week. I feel like because we have a stellum in Taurus that certain things that you want to do could be a little bit, um, could take a bit of time or may not happen right away for you, okay? Follow your bliss at this time because that's where the money is. You have more responsibilities coming your way and then also you have um, more um, hours coming up for you. For some of you, this could be a great time for business picking up. It could be get very busy here with this energy. You have an opportunity to show off your talents this week. The Four of Cups, I feel for some of you here, this is certain things that you want falling into place and you feeling like you can relax a little bit with this energy here, okay? So this is certain worries 
um, coming off your plate at this time and you feeling like you could be a bit more copacetic this week with this energy. The Queen of Cups, I feel like you may have options with love. You can be dealing with manipulative people this week with this energy as well. So be careful um, with who you're dealing with. Like I said, you know, this could be a situation with family with this energy and they could be like guilting you into things that you don't want to do at this time with this energy and you and again you see it coming and you know how to play with them too because you like playing the games and you know how to play the games right back at them you know and you know how to be just as manipulative so this is like a lot of back and forth i see going on at this time avoid the gossips i think that you have lessons with the gossiping friends or a friend could be um, backstabbing you at this time or baiting you into conversation to talk about a situation that you are over with and you don't want to talk about. So be careful with that um, as well. So be careful what you say to other people at this time because somebody is trying to bait you into conversation or trying to trap you in a situation where you're going to end up telling on yourself, okay? The King of Swords, I feel for some of you here, you can be dealing with a dominating person that has wisdom and advice to share with you at this time with this energy. You benefit through public servants this week, like social services, um, anything with the government, you benefit through this week with this energy. There's money worries, but then there's money coming in for you. The Knight of Wands, fortune is bubbling bubbling over at this time for you with this energy, okay? New beginnings, new people coming into your life, new situations. The Four of Wands, I feel like for some of you this week, this could be like working home, working home, working home. You're more about your financial security. You're more about yourself at this time with this energy. The Lover's Card, this is talks of future, future, future. This could be with love relationship, but also this could be with contracts and negotiations, and there could be talks of future, future. For others of you, this could could be moving in with your partner with this energy this could be taking your relationship to the next level at this time so you can see yourself married to this person this could be a soulmate coming in with this energy you two have a psychic connection with each other you may even dream about this person as well the ten of swords expect the unexpected if this person has not contacted you i feel like this person will contact you pretty soon here okay there's no pages so far so watch out there's a reversal of fortune happening for some of you here as well with these energies so again expect the unexpected um with the energy i feel for some of you this is a great time for your health to start to improve with this energy as well the five of wands you can be taking a um hobby and turning it into a money making idea with this energy you're very creative this week with your ideas um with this energy here and you want to do you want to explore that side but you may not have no time to or for some of you you could be sitting on your hands when it comes to um taking risk and chances when it comes to money making opportunities here so this could be you know mercury is still kind of like in shadow period at this time till the 28th so this could be you sitting on your hands still about certain things you want to do so you may not do this the three of wands i see teamwork makes the dream work you benefit through symbiotic relationships at this time with this energy here i feel like for some of you your talents are really going to show this week with this energy the seven the nine of coins i feel like there's money worries but then at the same time there's money coming in so you're paying for your bills you're you're good financially you're catching up on your bills but then you don't have money left over for the things that you want to do it could be hard saving money at this time with these energies as well okay the um seven of coins i feel like there's new beginnings coming through for you you can be receiving some much needed good news for some of you this could be thoughts of moving at this time this could be thoughts of moving in with somebody with this energy here as well not necessarily your partner this could be like with your mom or your or your siblings your female siblings the eight of swords for some of you here there's money worries but then they said the, there's money coming in okay the eight of wands i feel like for some of you you can be receiving some much good news coming up for others of you this could be traveling coming into your life the ten of coins puts an emphasis on money so let go of the worries for some of you you prefer to be by yourself at this time with this energy you prefer to work alone with this energy as well the ten of swords 
um, with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you can be a skeptic at this time. You have to touch it, feel it in order to believe it with this energy. I feel whatever burdens that you're carrying at this time, you may carry them for a little while longer with this energy. And the Two of Wands, I see recognition and success happening. I see that you could be um, very cerebral and in your head at this time. You're very creative. For some of you, you could be spending a lot of time on the media, social media. For some of you, you could be getting monetized on the social media. For others of you, this could be partnerships in regards to um, your art and your creativity happening here, but you don't know if you want to do it at this time, okay? So trust your intuition. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing, and thank you for everyone who has. Kisses.